So here. How's everyone doing? I'll take angry silence as a sign that you guys are doing well. Um, thank you for uh, coming this afternoon uh, to our um, announcement of what we have uh, decided, what I have decided is the right course of action uh, for uh, moving Toledo forward um, after the defeat of issue one back in the spring and given what's going on in the world with you know, COVID-19 and so many other challenges. This really has been a year of challenge uh, for cities across America. Um, but I'm one who believes that um, during difficult times, um, you know, we, we should move ahead and move forward and redouble our efforts and not uh, retreat into the shadows and feel sorry for ourselves. Uh, so we're going to move forward um, uh, with a plan that I uh, think, think makes sense for the city, but more importantly, uh, with an approach that is the product of countless conversations we had with members of city council, uh, leaders in the business community, uh, community leaders, uh, citizens all across Toledo. Um, I don't know if, I know I have a prepared statement, which at some point will be uh, passed out to you, and I was half tempted to read it uh, word for word, uh, but uh, seeing as how I wrote it, uh, I, I'm going to uh, at least do a good uh, job paraphrasing uh, what we're going to do. So here, here is, um, here's, here's what we're asking City Council to do. We are asking City Council to approve to the ballot two separate ballot issues. Um, City Council, by charter, has to, by August 4th, uh, pass a resolution putting issues on the ballot. That there's an August 4th deadline for anything, any, uh, you know, TARDA or the Metro Parks or, you know, whoever wants to put something on the ballot in November has, faces an August 4th deadline. And we've known um, ever since issue one was defeated that we too faced an August 4th deadline. Um, but we wanted to take the time to have conversations with Toledoans uh, to make sure that our request uh, is in line with uh, what the citizens want. So uh, having had those conversations, we are ready now uh, uh, to ask City Council to approve the placement of two issues on to the November ballot. Attached to my statement are the two ordinances. Are they ordinances or resolutions? Technically, resolutions. resolutions. <laughs> Even better, resolutions that include ordinances. So that's government for you. Uh, but at any rate, we are introducing that uh, to City Council today. I suspect uh, that City Council will begin to debate this tomorrow at agenda review, and they will have uh, until August 4th to vote uh, to approve these so that they can go through the Board of Elections process and end up on the ballot. Here's what the two ballot issues would do. The first is a simple, straightforward, routine renewal of the three-quarter percent uh, payroll income tax. This is the engine of city government. This is the um, mechanism whereby uh, the city of Toledo has funded its operations uh, since 1982. Uh, the citizens passed it in June of 1982. It has never been defeated. Uh, the citizens um, have uh, reviewed the city's work uh, every three to four years and have always uh, come back with a stamp of approval. And I anticipate that the citizens will uh, do that again in November. Um, for what it is worth, the defeat, the potential defeat of the three-quarter percent renewal, though I don't expect it, though unlikely, Again, it's something like this has never happened in our city's history, but were it to happen, it would cost uh, the city of Toledo $56.8 million. So I had a little time on my hands this weekend and started crunching some numbers, and I sought to find something else in our city budget that also uh, had a $56.8 million dollar line item. And as fate would have it, $56.8 million is exactly the amount of money in salaries and benefits uh, that the city pays to our 
the patr our patrol officers, the, the roughly 500 or so uh, TPD patrol officers. The, in addition to that, there's command officers who I'm not counting in this, but one way to think of the uh, calamity that would, uh, if not catastrophe, that would befall the city of Toledo and its budget in the unlikely uh, event that the three-quarter percent levy would fail would be to think about it in just those terms. Uh, the defeat of the ballot issue could, one of the ways you could fill that gap is simply laying off every single patrolman we have on the streets uh, protecting our city. Obviously, that's not a future anyone looks forward to, that's not a future anyone wants, and that is why I am certain that the citizens of Toledo will, as they have since June of 1982, approve the temporary three-quarter percent renewal. So one of the issues that will be on the ballot in November will be that. Pretty straightforward, pretty routine, don't expect a lot of drama, um, and, uh, but procedurally we have to have City Council approve this ordinance, uh, so that is one of the two ordinances in your packet. The second ordinance um, is, uh, would be for a second ballot issue, uh, a second uh, income tax levy this November. It would be a quarter percent increase uh, of, of uh, the payroll income tax in Toledo. It would raise about $18.9 million, and these dollars would be spent exclusively on road repair, exclusively on road repair, totally, fully, 100% on road repair. That is the approach that I think makes sense, and that is the approach that I uh, hope City Council agrees with, and I uh, hope and look forward to them passing these uh, two pieces of the legislation so that in November the citizens will face two issues when they go into the ballot. They will see the normal, regular three-quarter percent renewal, which expires at the end of the year. Um, and before it expires, uh, we ought to renew it, uh, Toledo. And that is what we're asking the citizens to do on that ballot issue. But you will see a second ballot issue. We obviously don't know what the numbers are yet. Aren't, uh, they haven't been assigned to us. But you might imagine that we would be encouraging people to vote yes on six and seven, or vote yes on four and five, or you know whatever, whatever numbers they are assigned but we'll be looking for yes votes on two issues, the renewal, and then the second issue uh, would be exclusively for road repair. I continue to believe that the city of Toledo has uh, an, a lot of needs. You know, we uh, are a city uh, that has historically faced challenges, and those challenges have only been heightened during the incredible and unprecedented year that cities in America have faced this year. So I believe, and continue to believe, that we do need pre-K. We do need more youth programming. We do need more police officers. We do need more investment in our parks. We need all those things. And just as I uh, believed we needed them uh, a year ago, I still believe we need them now. However, um, uh, successful public officials listen to the voters. They listen to the citizens. And I have spent uh, a lot of time listening. Um, but more than just listening, I would like to think that I heard what the voters said. I didn't just listen, I think I heard what they had to say. And they said three very clear things uh, to me during the campaign for issue one. Firstly, uh, uh, there was a sense that it was an awful, uh, that the request was awful large, <laughs> awfully large. And because as you recall, we were asking for a half a percent increase uh, uh, for issue one. Um, and uh, so that was one thing we heard. Boy, you know, uh, I, I like, you know, I like your ambition, but that's an awful, uh, you know, that, that, that's just, it's a little more money than I would otherwise want to part with, <laughs> is how uh, it, was put, um, and I think that was especially true after the economic uh, uncertainty caused by COVID-19. The second thing um, uh, we heard 
was that um, they didn't like that everything was sort of jammed into one ballot issue. Because um, as you recall, there was just one issue and yes, while it would, would have uh, fixed roads more so than anything else, uh, and we sort of had some uh, fun mathematical debates with our uh, friends who disagreed with us uh, about that fact. Um, it would have fixed more roads than it would have done anything else, but it did some other things too. You know, there's no mistake, it did some other things too. And many voters said, boy, you know, I, I, uh, I like the fact that it would fix roads. I'm not as big a fan on, of the need for more police or pre-K or youth programming. And so voters communicated a frustration that it was all sort of jammed in and they couldn't, uh, as it were, order a la carte. <laughs> um, and thirdly, uh, there was a, uh, a, a real clear sense that of all the priorities that exist in the city, uh, the citizens just fundamentally want those roads fixed more than they want everything else. I believe the citizens do want more police. I believe the citizens want pre-K. I believe the citizens want more youth programming, better parks, and more investment, and all the things we try to do. I believe they want all those things, but they want roads more than all of it. <laughs> they want their roads fixed, and I don't, I don't blame them. So the approach that we have developed addresses all three of those core concerns. One, we have cut the size of the request in half. It's not a half a percent request, it's a quarter percent. Uh, uh, that's more sort of typically in line with you know, what the next uh, request should be. Uh, some people felt that a quarter percent would be sort of the, the more natural progression. So sure enough, point number one, it's a smaller request. It's half the size than what we requested in the spring. Secondly, um, it, we in fact separated things out. We didn't try to jam everything together as was the case under issue one. We didn't sort of uh, throw a, a, a goodie bag or a Christmas tree of uh, uh, sort of wish list items in it. Um, uh, we didn't do it. We separated them out. So we have the three quarter percent renewal, which is crucial and must occur for the city to move forward the way we want it to. But separate from that is a totally a different and additional issue where the voters will have the opportunity to decide whether they want that extra service or not. And thirdly and finally, the third thing we heard that we acted upon is the desire uh, to get the roads fixed, more so than anything else. And so that's what, what this does and that's why all it does is fix roads. So just like anything else, I'm sure this approach isn't perfect. I'm sure this approach will have its detractors. Um, don't expect these two issues to pass unanimously. Uh, you know, disagreement is healthy in a democracy. However, I do believe that this approach recognizes the legitimate concerns that uh, voters had in the spring. It recognizes the changed world in which we live. Fact of the matter is, we are in a recession now. We weren't in a recession when issue one began. We're in one now. And how it happened, why it happened, who's to blame, Trump, Biden, all that, doesn't matter. <laughs> We're in a recession now. And so we, ha a responsible approach, uh, needs to change our plan as a result. Um, it, I think issue one, it, it was criticized by some as being too ambitious, trying to do too much, uh, too soon, all at once. That's fair. That's a fair criticism, and I don't mind that criticism. I'm not bashful at all about trying to do big things for Toledo. I'm not uh, apologetic for my love of Toledo and my belief that we can do great things here. Um, so if the worst thing that could be said about me or my plan in the spring was that I wanted to do too much, I can live with that. Um, I still think the worst thing to say was that I didn't want to do anything. Um, I've said since I became mayor that we're going to try things, we're going to try big things, some are going to work, some aren't going to work. The ones that don't work, we're going to learn from it, we're going to dust ourselves off, pick ourselves up and try, try something else. That's what this is. And it is also, I think, the best example of democracy, of elected officials listening to the citizens. Because I 
was immersed in that campaign for months. <laughs> and I, I heard it all and I read it all. And the three things that we heard more than anything else have all been addressed under this new plan. They are separate issues. They're not lumped together. The request is not as large. In fact, it's half the size. And it is just roads. It's just roads. We're not adding more police like we would have under issue one. We're not doing the youth programming and, and the pre-K and all that other stuff, which I think has merit. And I think to some extent the citizens want it, but they want roads more than anything else. So you know what? That's what we're gonna do. We listened and more than, more than just listening, I think we heard the voters. And so now th there will be a real choice in November. If you want your roads fixed, you have your chance. This is your chance. It is a separate stand alone issue just for roads. Um, I, I just don't know how to say it any more clearly than that. So um, I look forward to the choice that the citizens are gonna have in November. Uh, I anticipate that they will pass both. Um, and uh, when the issue pertaining to roads passes, you know, that'll mean an additional $19 million a year every year uh, to fix roads. That's not a bad thing, especially when you consider that last year, calendar year 2019, we spent, again, less than two miles on residential road resurfacing. This, uh, you know, issue one, when it comes, when it came to road repair, you know, maybe that would have been a grand slam home run. This is a nice double. This is a, a double up the gap, a stand up double that still uh, gets the runners home. So, uh, but that's part of the give and take and, the, and, and uh, this is how governing works, you know. Uh, I did have an ambitious plan. I believed in it, still do. Um, but, uh, you know, part of my job is to listen to the citizens. And the citizens wanted two separate issues. They wanted a request that was not as large and they wanted the focus to be on roads. Darn it, that's what this is. And so I look forward to uh, the conversation and the first step of that is having city council approve these two ordinances which we're gonna introduce today and tomorrow at agenda review they'll begin the conversation. So thank you, you know, I don't know if this was even really worth a news conference or I probably could have just done it by a news release. I don't know if you were hoping or expecting for more news to be made but this is, you know, this was, this issue one generated enough attention and there was enough uh, sort of scrutiny about what, how we would respond that I wanted to take the time to explain our thinking and let you know what we're going to do. Yes? So, um, with the, um, with issue one, you were looking at also putting a caveat in where funds couldn't be moved to the general fund and be used mm -hmm. in other ways. At that point, we weren't facing a recession. Now right. we are. Mm -hmm. Is that caveat still in there? How are you going to ensure this money actually goes to roads? The, it, when you look through the uh, ordinance, you will see, and Dale uh, looms like a vulture over your shoulder. He can, uh, but, but a well-dressed and handsome vulture. Um, the, that ordinance is written, as you can see, with a, it, there's a sp special fund, what's it called, the road high, something kind of fund, I, I don't even <laughs> sure what it's called. There is a fund that every penny raised from the passage of the, of, I wish it had a number because it would be easier to talk about, but whatever number that issue is assigned, every penny raised from it, the $18.9 million based on our current estimates, will go into that fund. And so it can only be used to repair roads. It can only be used to repair roads. That's on the new, the new quarter percent increase for roads. We're also renewing the three quarter percent. And we are renewing it based on the same rules, you know, the same, I, 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 after what we went through with issue one, I said, I, said, I don't wanna change a single word. I don't wanna change one word, one comma. <laughs> it's, it, we're just renewing the same darn thing that we've done every you know, couple of years since 1982. So the, the, the spending rules as exist under the renewal, they will continue to We'll continue to operate in that fashion because I wanted to be able to say truthfully, we're just renewing the same darn thing we've, we've always had. On the new money, the new money for roads, there is a special account created that every one of those $18.9 million goes into. And there will not be an ability, there is no ability to transfer uh, between this new fund and, uh, 
so th 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 there can be no commingling between the three, sort of the money that comes from the three quarter percent and the money that will come should the road increase pass. I really do believe, I really do believe that the approach we have adopted is the approach the citizens were asking for. Uh, I, I, I believe that sincerely. I have spoken with so many of them and it's really amazing, none of, uh, you'll always have, look, you'll always have some people who just don't like taxes and they're ideologically, I get it, that's fine. Um, but most folks um, understand that we need to fix the roads and, and their beef with issue one um, wasn't that the roads didn't need to be fixed, they just, you know, they didn't like the way we did it, they didn't like, there were just, there were, again, three parts of it they didn't like. So you know what? <laughs> we, we addressed all three of them. The request is not as large, it's half the size. We separated it out from the three quarter percent, so there's no other bells and whistles or no other programs, as good as they may be, as much as we might want more police or better youth programming. Nope. It's just roads in a totally separate up or down, yes or no vote. That, that is what the citizens asked for. I am certain of it. <laughs> and now the citizens will have a chance to you know, express how badly they want those roads fixed. Mayor, it's um, fair to say that this has been an unpredictable year <laughs> in yes. every sense. Yes. In every sense, really. And even though the one, I mean, the three quarter has been around for upwards of 40 years, yep. it is an extraordinary financial year for a lot of people. Yep. Do we have a plan B here? There is no plan B. Um, this is plan B. This is plan B. Um, the three quarter percent renewal must pass. I, I, just, I just don't know how else to say it. It must pass. Um, the city has been in this exact situation before. In 2016, they tried to pass an increase for roads and some other things and it failed. And they came back in November and renewed the three quarter percent. Um, they're, they're, um, so I guess I would submit to you that this is plan B. And at least as it pertains to the three quarter percent, it simply must pass. This is November's the last election we have this year. Uh, while it is true that the tax expires at the end of December, there's no election between election day and the end of the year. So this renewal has, has to, you know, and it, look, and I know people say, oh, don't use scare tactics. I, I'm really, I'm not trying to use scare tactics. I'm saying that if issue, if the renewal fails, the city is out $56.8 million. How do we fill that gap? Hmm, I don't know yet, but to help you think of what that gap is, that's exactly the amount of money we pay the 500 or so patrolmen who patrol our streets. So the renewal fails, well, maybe we'll just lay off every police officer we have in the city. And I, I say it almost chucklingly because it's, it's just such a apocalyptic scenario that it's, I, I, I can't believe uh, that anyone would want that future. So the three quarter percent renewal has to pass. I just don't know how else to say it. If what is very possible um, is the three, well, the three quarter percent could pass and then the roads issue could fail. That, that could happen. Um, now we have done some focus groups and some public opinion polling. Uh, I always collect a lot of data when we make our decisions. I am very certain that the three quarter percent will be renewed. I'm also fairly comfortable based on what I've seen, that the citizens will support a quarter percent smaller increase just for roads. I think both will happen. But, um, you know, if the renewal uh, passes, but the citizens vote down the, uh, the, the additional request for roads, um, you know, we will still have, a, yeah, we'll still be able to serve basic needs and provide basic services. Uh, the city won't, uh, you know, be filing for bankruptcy, but we won't be fixing very many roads, <laughs> you know. So what we're trying to do here is to give everyone the best of both worlds. So, yeah, it's been an unpredictable year, and sometimes you have to choose from among bad choices. But there is just absolutely no question that the three-quarter percent renewal has to pass. Part of the discussion was, well, should we put the uh, request for more money for roads in that three quarter percent, I felt that was too risky um, because if what you are sensing takes hold, and it, it may well, that during these tough economic times, 
even for something as desired as new roads, people just aren't in a position to pay even a little bit more, it would then merging them together would threaten to sink the three quarter percent, which is just uh, not a future that we can ponder. So we separated them out, feeling comfortable that that renewal should pass. We really then are just going to leave it to the citizens to, to make that choice about where their finances calibrate with their desire to fix roads. So this is just this is the decision that we think makes the most sense. In the case residents vote this down and we have to lay off 500 police officers, okay. uh, no one would want that scenario, but how would people be safe if that were to happen? It, couple things. First of all, I do not think, I truly do not think the three-quarter percent renewal will fail. I just don't. I don't want to be proven wrong, but I just don't think it will fail. It has never failed. It has always passed. So that's the first thing I will say. Secondly, if it somehow is defeated, I'm not, I am not proposing that we uh, lay off every single patrol officer. I, am, I simply use that as a hypothetical scenario simply because the dollar amounts were literally identical. And I just use that as a, to help citizens understand the gravity of what defeating the renewal would mean. So in the, I believe, very unlikely scenario whereby the renewal is defeated, we will have a $56.8 million gap in our budget and we will have to fill it somehow, but the choices will be awful. And while we will not lay off every police officer, we certainly would have to lay off many, 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 and firefighters, and folks who plow snow, and everything else. It would, not, it would be a city not worth living in, in my judgment, if the renewal were not passed. I know it will be. The real, in my sense, the real drama will be, and the reason I feel is that way is, first of all, the alternative is just so incomprehensible, but secondly, because the citizens have always renewed the three uh, quarter percent, and I think there's a sense of buy-in about it. I, I feel very, if this is wood I'm gonna knock, I feel pretty confident that the renewal will pass. I think the real interesting question here is how the citizens will treat the second issue, uh, the quarter percent additional for roads. It's a smaller request, it's half the size, it's only roads, it's not pre-K and cops and everything else, and it's a separate issue, the three things that they wanted. So it, it'll be really interesting to see um, how they respond. So, with the C one, we heard a lot about um, you know how many roads would be repaired, which ones. Good question. On the time frame. Um, can you kind of just for us give an idea of the, like this? The, the majority of issue one was still roads, and now yes, it was clearly roads, but it's still not quite as much money. Not as much, so right? Yep. What are we looking at as far as? How much we could do. That, that's a good question. And I think we are probably going to approach this campaign um, in, a, in a way that provides us as much flexibility as possible. So in other words, even under issue one, and you remember the long, remember the Christmas uh, uh, list uh, we did over at the zoo, all, all of those roads contemplated a uh, leveraging that money in the bond market uh, which took the amount of money, I believe it was $20 million, and turned it into $40 million. Was that what it was? I think it was going to be $40 million. But so even that wasn't necessarily how much would be produced from the passage of issue one. It was going to be the passage of issue one and then running to the bond market for even more. I think what we want to do this time is um, pass a standalone quarter percent increase just for roads. Gives us $18.9 million. And I think after that, we then will ponder how we approach that. Because maybe we will decide to leverage that in the bond market the same way we did, the same way we wanted to do with issue one, in which case we would be talking about a truly massive amount of roads. Or if we don't want to take on that debt, maybe we are just content with doing $18.9 million of roads, understanding that even that is doubling what would be the highest amount we have spent on roads any time in the last 20 years. The most money that Toledo has spent on roads in the last 22 years, I think was eight or eight, eight and a half million dollars. We would be doubling that amount every year. So that's still pretty darn significant. This is the stand up double as opposed to the grand slam. So I think that 
Um, I, I don't know that we're going to push this conversation any more between now and the passage of issue one. Well, I guess my point is, it'll be nice to have $18.9 million that must go to roads, and then with city council have the flexibility to talk about whether we want to leverage it into even more or live within that budget. No matter what, it is going to mean a, a, a tripling or quadrupling of the amount of roads that we are used to seeing repaired, and that's if we don't leverage it at all. So it's a long answer. I don't know if there was anything in there that you needed. I guess that, that is a question we're not, we don't want to, that's a decision we don't want to make just yet. We want to, let's, let's get that $19 million a year for roads and then, um, you know, with the calm reflection of a post-election uh, world, decide, you know, what we want to do and where we want to deploy it, et cetera. I can assure you that $19 million is a heck of a lot more than the less than $2 million we spent last year. So this is a massive upgrade in any case. All right. Thank you, everyone. I feel bad I referred to Dale as a vulture, but just look at him there. So, All right. Thank you, everyone. I thought I quit being a vulture when I stopped being a, a journalist or a personal injury lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, you, you would be a, like a... A hydra. <laughs> you would be a vulturous hydra, a multi-headed. Uh, so, all right. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate.